Okay, so Kinetic Text Animator has a couple of general settings or, or preferences that you can set here. And so that's available during, with the settings option. Uh, you can set the background, including transparency for exporting to either GIF or um, uh, MOV with transparency. Uh, you have some presets here for stage sizes and or you can enter in your own. Let's say that you wanted to do a, maybe a Pinterest GIF animation or GIF animation. You can go ahead and uh, set that to the Pinterest size and then you know do your animation accordingly. Uh, you have the ability to uh, this auto play after dragging or resizing a block that just you know it does what it says uh, if you're you know if, if you're changing something up and everything you want to automatically see the results you can go ahead and turn that on uh, or rather than having to hit the space bar or the play button over here space bar will automatically play of course you can move this back around whenever you want in scrub uh, this is the pre-roll is kind of similar but the idea is that let's say that i'm working with this animation maybe adjusting it with the audio and i want to rewind but i don't want to go all the way back and maybe i only want to go to halfway back so this allows me to set um, how far back it would do what kind of pre-roll it might do if it was going to do if it's going to rewind um, so we have the the play sound when export is finished this is an option that might be useful for you like let's say that you're doing an export of a long video that's going to take a little while uh, you might turn that on while you're making coffee or you know having a quick little meeting or something like that and you know it'll play the sound it'll let you know when it's done and you want to get back to work so we have a couple of options here there's an auto loop background audio so let's say you have a looping background music uh, audio file that will continue to loop even though it, you know, say it, it only lasted, say, eight seconds and uh, you wanted it to last for 40 seconds, uh, it would automatically loop. Um, and then we have a uh, background volume here. You can also set that on the timeline. And we have uh, the ability to fade out automatically in seconds. So basically, when there's no more animations on the timeline, let's say, it would, like it is here, after a little bit after eight seconds, if I had some music, it would auto. Even if the music lasted for a minute, it would automatically fade out three seconds after the end of this. Uh, I think actually, I think it uh, is really three seconds before. Uh, you know, it, it, it should finish up here if I remember correctly how it works. So. But you can play with that. Um, I, I, most of the time, I do my fade outs over about a second and a half or a second. So, but um, you, you you can do it much more gradually, like our default setting here of three seconds. So that's pretty much uh, is the preferences. You can save them, and uh, you know, and then come back here and make any adjustments if you need to. Um, I don't like having my export um, on most of the time, for example, so I'll, I'll leave that there. But whenever I'm, you know, if I need to do it, I can save and then come back later, turn it off and save again. So uh, that's pretty much it for the settings in Kinetic Text Animator.